Hello, welcome to day 11 of the Everyday Adventures. Crazy how fast time flies. And as we're currently not able to travel, I thought the cool thing is to travel and experience other cultures through dance. And if you think like, oh, I'm not really good at dancing, I'm probably one of the worst people you've ever seen dancing, that's for sure. Hi Jennifer, how are you doing today? So, there are incredibly amazing dancers out in this world. So many different cultures have so many different beautiful dances. If you just think about a few, like if you're lucky enough to be um, in quarantine with a partner, then there's salsa, tango, waltz, like there's a bunch of the um, couple dances that you can try out. There's a bunch of YouTube tutorials, but if you're by yourself, some of the dances are actually even cooler. I'm totally okay, how are you feeling? Some of the dances are actually even cooler because they have um, African dances, um, capoeira, which obviously you probably have to like practice a little bit, but so many beautiful Indian dances. There's an Indian dance out there that takes over seven years to actually learn how to do the full dance, which is freaking mind-blowing to me. Um, if you actually have seven years to learn one single dance. Blows my mind. Freaking beautiful dance. There's some um, Thai dances that are freaking beautiful. <laughs> and try to do a TikTok dance. I suck. I totally suck as well. You give me three steps. And at the fourth step, I've already forgotten the first step. So I'm pretty bad. That's why like a 10 minute YouTube video to learn a new dance is more than enough for me. It probably takes me about an hour to like complete 10 steps, but that's totally okay. It's just about the experience, about trying something new and experience a different culture in our home. So there's simpler dances like the Hakka dance, pretty simple moves, lots of like masculine energy, probably gets your energy out, which is really cool as well, especially when we don't have any other places to go and get our energies out. I break a hip. <laughs> Just give it a try. I'm really bad with like moving my hips. I tried so many times. My friends in Chile tried teaching me the Chilean dance and it was so bad. Um, but after a year, I kind of got it. <laughs> So it's just about trying out something new um, having a different experiences and there are actually so many dances that we don't even know exist. So many um, Eastern European countries have their own beautiful folkloric dances. Then there's tutorials on YouTube on contemporary dance, hip hop, even like Broadway dances, the Lion King dances. Like it's not about being perfectionist at a dance or at a few dance moves, it's just about the experience and trying something new. If you're a professional dancer, then try a different kind of dance. If not, it's just about the fun. It doesn't have to look pretty. It can be just funny and exciting and just something new, but give it a try. Experience with it. The hokey pokey and turn myself around. I want to see your TikTok videos, by the way. I'm not on TikTok yet. Probably I won't be because I don't know. Um, I don't have the good dance moves to do that. Um, but honestly, when I research dances, there are so many dances that I've never ever heard about before. And there's about 200 countries. I mean, even half of the countries have their own dance. Like think about the Hawaiian hula dance, French Polynesian, um, um, the Arab belly dance. So many cool dances that you don't have to be good at. It's just about trying it out and doing something different and not just doing the same things over and over and over when you're at home, okay? So I hope um, that's a good tip to do. I did some haka and I'm gonna do like some Indian dances because I really like them and it's really really hard especially as they like really stretch your fingers and it's all about the hands and the feet but so much fun and I hope you have a beautiful day if you have any questions please let me know I'm gonna see you soon tomorrow bye